Hello guys, I'm here with one of the most standard build orders that you must know. The 22 population Archer Rush. This build order is perfect for team games when you are playing as a flank. The pocket build order was already featured in this channel if you want to check out. But stick around as I guide you through in numerous details that you must know about this build order. Okay, let's start with this build order. As most build order starts with two houses, don't forget to start to placing one house with two villagers, another one, push the, the chip back to Undertown Center and let's place six villagers to collect this ship. While you are collecting this ship, don't forget to to keep scouting with the scouts, you also can use some of these ships to scout around, you can use those waypoints, for example, this ship, I, I usually select some waypoints, and the last one, always under town center. And please, always have at least two ships under town center, so you don't run out of food. That was slightly dangerous, but thank god that ship uh, ran a little bit, and was in time. Uh, after having six under the town center, you start uh, sending villagers, the four new villagers to the wood line. So six on ship and four on wood. And as you can see, uh, everything is going great. You are scouting, you are playing as Saracens. It's, it is really important because it's a standard build order. This build order, you can do it with every civilization. Okay, that's the one of the most important things about this build order. I'm not pushing any deers, but if if you feeling um, if you are feeling a little bit adventurous, feel free to push some of the deers. Uh, maybe I can, I usually push one, and you can do this if not with two twenty two population. You can do this build order with only twenty one. Okay, so. As you can see, I have always six on ship and four on wood. I did something that's sometimes different, uh, but um, as you can see, I always had the ship uh, being collected at all times the, in the most efficient way. So I usually don't uh, collect the last ship and I don't send the, I send a little bit before a villager to collect the boar. So after six on ship and four on wood, the new villager collects the boar. As you can see, I have, I have, I still have six under the ship. But the slightly difference on most build orders uh, is so this ship I don't kill another one and I collect the boar. But you can do it without this. Okay. Now, uh, you are at 13 population, and don't forget to build two houses. Okay, you can uh, make some palisades. This was a easy way to wall here, so I did that. So, after that, you send four to the mill. Let's recap it till now. Six on the ship, four on wood. You go collect, the new villager collects the bar, okay? And the next one, and when you are at 13 population, you build two houses, and the next four villagers uh, will build the mill. As you can see, I keep with seven, so six plus the villager that went collect the boar, and now I'm sending four. Don't forget, once you have 150 food on the boar or rhino or elephant, what is the generation? Go collect the second bar. This is really important to do. As you can see, the villager that was building the two houses, I sent back to the mill. So because we all only want four on berries. Okay. You also can sometimes adapt and send one or two villagers more if uh, the opponent steals one of your bars. But usually keep four on the mill, okay? Now, I want always to have 10 on food. So, after having four on berries, we want to have 10 under town center, and as you can see, 10 plus four on berries, and I start sending the next one, 
next villager to, to the wood line. So I have five on this wood line. And now I'm sending the new ones, the last two villagers, to wood. Okay? This is really important. I want to have five villagers here and six villagers there. So each lumber camp, uh, we have a total of 11 villagers on wood. As you can see, we have already have the perfect amount. Don't forget to click loom just before getting villager, uh, getting to the feudal age. So at 22 population, you click loom and afterwards feudal age. So this is perfect. I have six on this lumber camp and five on this one. So I have a total of 11. Okay. Keep this number in mind. You always want 11 on wood and as we are getting along into the fiddle age we want three on the gold okay everything under town center okay so we are clicking up to the fiddle at 22 population and uh, really important this part okay is that you really need to build the barracks when you are 50 60 percent of going up as you can see I'm going with the barracks and now also don't forget this build a house okay house is really important because you are at 22 population you really need one okay and um, so as you can see we are building up our wood okay and we are finishing the barracks and once we finish the barracks we are going to place two archery ranges, okay, one, two, afterwards the wood upgrade, okay, it was not this lumber camp, and we are ready to go. Don't forget, start balling, you are playing a team game, uh, the opponent is coming in, uh, in probably with scouts, the opponent is also building archers, you want to have your base protected, okay. And really important, uh, now you set the gather point to the gold. As you can see, you want seven on gold to keep two archery ranges working. Okay, we have only five. We need to send the sixth, sixth and the seventh villager to gold. Okay. Don't forget, as soon as you start building the, the archers, you start producing them. As soon as you have army, the sooner you are going to kill the opponent. And as soon as you, you have the wood, you build the blacksmith as well. So, after building the two archers, having seven on gold, having the blacksmith, you can start producing farms. And remember this, this is really important. As soon as you see those farms, the soon you get to castle age. So to keep archer production, you need 10 on wood, 10, 11, 7 on gold, and this is perfect. And of course, as all build orders, <laughs> uh, and especially this one, you are producing from three buildings the town center and the two archery ranges. So you are going to get uh tens of times housed okay so don't forget to build those houses okay this is real really important uh, as i forgot that okay as soon as you have fletching and you have six archers you can start erasing your opponent is it is really important to keep the pressure on the opponent and you see we have a clean build order here right the opponent has some archers but he didn't have fletching so he's not as clean as us, right? Oh boy, I was housed again. <laughs> but don't forget, as soon as you, you can start building those farms, okay? Uh, keep walling, keep building uh, houses, keep producing archers, and try to kill as many buildings, uh, as many villagers, many army as you can without losing those numbers, okay? As you can see, let's speed up a little bit because at this point we have uh, always tried to keep 7 on gold, okay, and at least 11 on wood, okay? 
We can uh, we can let's slow down a little bit. It's really important to keep your mass of archers alive and the opponent has skirms to counter your archers. Just run away. Ping your enemy so he brings the his scouts to kill the skirms. Skirms don't kill scouts, right? So just ping and hope that your pocket helps you. Okay? And so it's really important to, to keep. You can now uh, research the defense upgrade. It's really important on Archer, on Archer uh, build order uh, and Archer on Archer fights. So keep doing that. Keep seeding those farms. The ideal number is usually 14 farms, but you can get until 18. Okay? Don't forget, you can research Wheelbarrow and as many team games, uh, especially in a, a slightly lower level, usually the pocket can go fast castle. But in fast castle, look, it doesn't have bloodlines and only has the first defense upgrade. So look at that. Ten archers or some are killing the knights. Because this is really important. He has no meaningful upgrades. Most important upgrades on the knights are the plus two defense and bloodlines. And the opponent doesn't have them. So don't be afraid of the pocket going uh, fast castle if you have a good amount of army. Okay? So keep building your mess at home. Don't uh, lose. I'm arresting here because he's going fast castle. It's always good to, to arrest the opponent. You can spend the wood on the market to sort out your economy, but as you can see, we have a really good economy. So we are not going to trade anything and let's see how fast we are going. As soon, this is a really important tip. As soon as you are going up and you feel after researching wheelbarrow it's really important to send some more villagers to gold because you maybe want to to get um, uh, to get the third archery range at least that's how i like to play when i'm playing as flank i, I want to go to castle age with a third archery range so i also can in the future build the thumb ring and everything and as soon as you click up you research gold mining upgrade. Also, don't recede your farms. This is really important because you need... So, our plan is when you reach Castle Age, we build a university and ballistics. Okay? Of course. First, we are going to prioritize crossbowmen, Balkan and ballistics. So, you need that wood. So, don't recede your farms. Okay? As you can see, crossbowman, Balkan, Bolsaw, and now the university. And of course, some houses, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. And you can see, we have that mass at the front. We clicked up at 20 minutes. We are in Castle Age. And look at this ball of death. Even skirms with fully upgrades from Feudal Age can't withstand those crossbowmans and those are regular crossbowmans they are not special right and look at that we are killing everything here and as you can see ballistics one of the most important upgrades in this game when we are playing archers okay guys and let's roll over let's see how we can play this this is one of the most uh, it is most idealistic and most perfect, one of the most perfect builders. And you see, we already can do thumb ring. It makes your crossbowmans with 100% accuracy and fire faster. Okay, and of course, we are Saracens. We are now killing everything from our opponents. And of course, after getting all the upgrades, only after getting ballistics, thumb ring, a really nice. Uh, ball of crossbowmans. Now we can invest a little bit on economy. We can build a one town center, we can build the second town center, but don't focus too much on economy, okay? The most important thing is your ushers. And don't forget, villagers don't win games, army does. 
<laughs> so guys, don't forget, if you like this video, if you like this build order, and if you want me to make more of these uh, build orders, don't forget to leave a comment and tell me what you like most, how you did with this build order, and what's the next one do you wanna see. Have a nice one, and bye bye.